Check 1282. All right. What's going on, folks? What are we doing today? We're gonna play some modern, I think. We're gonna kick off with polymorph again and then take another crack at uh, the Bant Chord deck that we've been playing a little bit. What's going on, folks? Howdy, howdy. Yeah, it's actually been sweet. I've been, I've been enjoying this archetype a lot. I think I want a fourth Nissa in here though. What's going on, Immortal? Going a fourth Nissa. I'm not quite sure what I want to do with everything in this sideboard. I think I want to try this Chalice Terastodon Iona plan. And then I'm gonna put a couple cards for affinity in here, drop like a nature's claim and drop a creeping corrosion in here maybe. Let's have some things to, to grind with them a little bit. Part of me kind of wants a third Terastodon. I wonder if that's crazy. I'm going to do that tonight and just see how that... We wanted a third Terastodon a couple times the other night, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that for now. What's going on, Urquhart? Stream Decker updated, and then we'll grab some cards from TGO Traders. Happy Sunday, folks. Hope everyone's having, having a good close to your weekend. Did I watch? I didn't watch the Grand Prix. I really haven't been into standard much. Just haven't haven't had the time to get into another thing. Modern's been really sweet since the unbannings, and um, I'm playing Legacy for my team at the Open in Cincinnati next month. So just like haven't had time to really get into get into standard. Hey, Knights, with that brand new 
for an, or sorry, the six month resubscription, a real Windows installation, right? Thank you, thank you for the six month resub nights, half a year. Welcome back, I do appreciate it. I mostly wanna see if I get how much of a performance increase I get not using Wine to run things. With my 1440 monitor, I was having some performance bottlenecks under under Linux, so I wanna see if that was operating system related or if it's just hardware related. If it's hardware related, well, I'll just have to upgrade the hardware and then we'll go back to using Linux. But if it's operating system related, I'm just gonna use Windows. I, I actually posted the Esper thing on Twitter this afternoon, this evening. I don't know, it depends on what time of day. That was That was my Twitter. All right, uh, I got some cards here. It's just taking me a second, I'm getting used to, still getting used to the, uh, the setup that we have going on here. Or the setup that I have going on, I suppose I should say. 71 cards, that sounds right, yep. Let's message MTGO traders. Um, I'm probably gonna play the Teamer Kiki with Blood Braid in it again at some point, because I think that's a deck I could see myself playing in Milwaukee, but you don't want to put Blood Braid Elf into a core deck, no. That sounds pretty terrible. Sounds pretty rancid. We just play what's in the donation queue, so people people have been sending us dollar runies to play to play this one and I've been enjoying it, so. I'm gonna keep on, keep on. I, I might, I maybe have been pushing it to the front of the queue because I enjoy playing it much, but people have been sending in donations to see this one. Uh, my team for the open is uh, Matt Bamante. He's my buddy who's been streaming Jund with me. And uh, Andrewd is another, he's a local Magic player that actually was someone who was playing Magic with me when I first started playing open series events. And then he went off to be a real adult and I kept playing more Magic. What is my walk stack? I don't know what you mean by walk stack. If that's when you've donated for, you can definitely check the queue. I don't, I definitely don't know everything that's in there offhand. You're accepting losing and get to play something fun. I mean, we're all gonna play something fun. Except for Matthew. Matthew's gonna do his best to win. He's our, he's our spike, our spike for the, uh, our spike for the tournament. And he wants to play standard, God bless him. A lot of people that play standard at these things are like, oh man, I got stuck playing standard. And Matt's like, let's go, let's play some standard. Everyone's having a, having a fun night. I think I'm playing tonight to do two leagues. We don't always do Sunday night streams, but I'm gonna go super late. It's already 20 after seven, I'm an old man. I think we're going to play this, then we're going to run Kiki Horde through a league. I have both of those in the donation queue. Let's floop some pigs. That's what I'm saying. I put a third. I put a third nasty Terasty in my sideboard for tonight, too. I'm excited. I'm excited to Terast it on some people. I'm a real doll trying to sell my collection. Now, when I finally sold all of my Paper Magic cards, it was just like finding piles of money I didn't know I had. I just like had so much money tied up that I didn't realize. Abzan Cord. Is that like Malira Company? I don't know why people try and play like Cord or Green Creature decks without combos and a Jade Warrior with that four month three subscription. Thanks a lot and welcome back. I do appreciate that. Third of a year. Just waiting on MTGO traders to ship some cards in our direction and then we'll we'll be off into the queues here this evening.
The hoarder shakes a dever cell. I just like put all my stuff in a box off to the side and was like, when I haven't opened this box for a month, I'm getting rid of everything. And believe it or not, a month later I hadn't opened it and I was like, all right. All right, I guess we'll get rid of everything. Hey, Nicholas DW42 with the first new sub of the night. Thank you very much and welcome. As always, y'all subscribers are great. Y'all are the reason I'm able to do what I do as often as I do it. So thank you very much. Yeah, I just don't want, I don't want to mess up the nice mana in this deck. Like having this many basics is great. Having search for tomorrow is great. Utopia Sprawl needs forest, so. You ever consider a chess stream? I'm not sure why anyone would want to watch me play chess. I mean, it's not a game I've ever professed to be good at. Sets of dual lands, holy god. What's going on, Ralk? Yeah, I didn't even have I didn't even have legacy stuff when I eventually sold the last of my things. I had mostly modern staples. Watching YouTube first live bracket. Well, welcome to a live one. Welcome to the show. Let's get everything zoomed in. We've got a new new operating system tonight, so we're gonna see. This is Magic Online in all of its native Windows glory. I already had a couple of bugs we had to work around, you know, just good, good quality stuff, really. You've got, got a Windows taskbar here at the top. It's dark and scary and the night is full of terrors. And here's here's the real test. I want I wanted to be able to record in 1440 while streaming in 1080 and on, and on under Wine on Linux, it would cause the system to choke and die. So we'll see if if Magic Online slows down a bunch here. It's not just just a system issue and not a uh, not a what's it called? I need to get all this sorted. I need to get my picture and stuff updated over here. So webcam. And camera border, select those, drag these up a touch. Perfect. And to set a new scene up. Evening Jeff. Once bought a foil guy's cradle. <laughs> That's all right. Uh yeah, this seems pretty good, right? I've got a I put in asking if I'm playing a real or a meme deck, and I responded with, it's modern, most of them are memes. Let's get my auto pass here. Let's set my stops before I forget and miss some here. Let's put stops on most of these places. Stomping ground, birds of paradise, huh? All right, explorer's an excellent draw. Uh, that actually sets us up to kill the next turn, right? Well, not kill them next turn, but we get to we get to floop and Emmer cool out next turn, right? The search for tomorrow is going to come off suspend. We'll grab an island and we'll polymorph our plant. Are they playing Kiki Cord. All of these cards they've played so far smell like Kiki Cord. Yeah, stomping, stomping ground, birds of paradise definitely is pawns on average in this format. But that this looks like Kiki Cord, right? Hey, here's to flooping all the nerds. Thank you for the big bits or what? I appreciate that. I mean, we're not playing this deck to not go for it, right? Especially since we like drew another polymorph, so they don't have a path. Let's uh, floop this Emmer cool right on into play here. It's casual. Casual turn three Emercools, NBD. Your move, Yugi boy. This is all I got. Please let it be good enough. Maybe they're playing like uh, Cobra Sahili, something like that. The same list, are there any updates? Uh, the main deck is up to four, four Nissa, and the sideboard has some different cards in it, but mostly, mostly the same. They, we could get Reflector Mage, that's a real card. 
Watching your opponent outmodern your fair deck. <laughs> um, this is this a Jace matchup? I kind of like the Jace as an alternate win condition, but I feel like we're probably not going to be able to defend it against a deck that's playing to the board. So that makes it a little bit worse. A chance they jam a Jace there? Yeah, that's fair. Do I want... Do I want these negates? The deck list is on your screen. If you are on... Got Amazon Prime free trial. I linked it to Twitch. How do I give you my fun money? If you are on... Um, if you are on the desktop computer, you just click where you subscribe at the top. If you're not on a desktop computer, you have to get to a desktop computer. Got Jace. The fact that they could have Jace makes me a little bit worried. Do I want these negates in my deck? They do counter Court of Calling and potentially Eldritch Evolution as well. I could also just like bring in Beast Within. Like Beast Within is just like a good catch-up card, a good generic catch-all card that like also also blocks. Yeah, I kind I kind of just want Beast Within as a hedge because I don't I don't really know 100% what our opponent is going to be doing. Like they're probably a Kiki Cord style deck, some kind of like green cord deck, but I don't I don't know that for sure. So let's just just swap the Jace for a Beast Within and, and go from there. Hmm. This is good enough. It's kind of nice because, like, the staff lets us. What's the word I'm searching for? It lets us, um, like, polymorph multiple times. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. Keep this and uh, see how it goes. It's green. I'm not a vegan. I'm a vegetarian. Cheese is great. That was that was a good. Definitely would have kept this if I knew that was on top. I was kind of close, not doing anything for a couple of turns, but search on top is excellent. I had to reset up my. We're streaming from Windows for the first time in a long time tonight, so I had to reset up anyways. So I figured I might as well change the border. I also didn't have my hex border saved in my Dropbox, apparently. So, and Windows, Windows can't access Linux partitions, because that's, that's apparently a thing that really can't happen two decades later. It can kind of, but it's not stable, so I wasn't going to do it. Playing Legacy for the team event, do you recommend Four Color or Grixis? I think I, I would recommend whichever one you have more fun playing with. I do, in fact, have 32 gigs of RAM. No, no joke, 30, 32 gigs of RAM. We got here, Slaughter Games. Oh no. Oh man, am I gonna have to diversify my threats? No, my wife and kids are both meat eaters. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You know what this means, though? This does mean that we can activate the staff on ourselves and stack our deck. So I kind of wish I still had Jason my deck for deck stacking purposes. So, yeah, it looks like they're playing Kiki Chord. So MTGO is a 32-bit application, so it's going to die long before it ever gets to that amount of memory used. There's a, there's a hard limit on how much memory a 32-bit application can address. I don't like the taste of meat, so I don't eat it. It's a really, it's a really complicated, complicated system for why I'm a vegetarian. I don't eat things I don't like the taste of. All right, are y'all ready for the Ferris backup plan of Ferris backup plans? I hope I hope y'all are ready for this. We're gonna I'm gonna call the herd and rally the blink moths.
So we're going to get to grab a land with this. And we're going to get to play a land. So we'll be up to six lands. So I can play and activate my staff here. Huh. Could also just play Call the Herd. Slaughter Games looks at my deck and then they name they, they name a card and then they look at my deck and get rid of all copies of that card. So they got rid of my Emrakul and I didn't bring in an extra creature because I wasn't expecting Slaughter Games. So just like Call the Herd plus Staff here. I kind of just want to Staff and activate it. Yeah, I think I'm just going to Staff plus activate it just so I can stack my deck. So they get, they get to look at my deck, but now I get to put these cards on the bottom of my deck in any order, and it's my entire deck, so I just get to stack my deck here. All right, so what do we want to draw and in what order? All right, yeah, look at the cards. All right. Um, so I probably want a Beast Within at some point. Garrick's my win condition, right? Garrick's my win condition. So... We'll go Garrick into Beast Within. Do I want to make more land drops? Probably have enough. And then we'll stack the Call the Herds. Maybe I wanted to stack some Explorers and stuff. I can't undo the ones I've... Wait, can I undo the ones I've already stacked? Oh, I can undo them. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. That's all of them, right? Huh. So do I want to stack? Do I want to stack some explorers here? Yeah, I cut the batter skulls because they were underperforming. So well, I could stack explore into Garrick because explore draws a card, right? So I can go explore into Garrick and then next turn I can play both these lands like plus this call the herd so that sounds great and then I'll go beast within call the herd and then probably I don't know some random creature lands doesn't really matter at that point and I'll probably just random the rest of these I'm sure they're just gonna like end step resto and tap Kikias, but the staff is sorcery speed. So we'll see. We, we probably were just like in the tank there. Yeah, they're definitely playing Kiki Cord. So we were in the tank there and uh see if they're just gonna kill us anyways. Hey, Colts, why why are there follower why are there follower alerts? That that's not supposed to be a thing in this autofocus is kinda dashboard. New, new setups, that is not, there we go. Rains, redemptions. All right, um. Probably super important follower. <laughs> It's just there's so I appreciate the follows, but there's just there's so there's so many of them a lot of the time that I just all right, I forgot to hit save settings. All right, I think I figured it out now. All right. Is Windows 10 a cry for help? Well, so far I'm not having any I'm not having any CPU bottleneck issues, which is nice. So. Um, the issue, the issue I was having with my, oh, this is the weird bring to light deck. Okay, sweet. This deck did, did a thing at some point. Okay, and they have Jason it now.
We actually have a wired connection on this computer. All right, so we're probably gonna bring in the Terastodons for the next game. Probably gonna bring in the Terastodons for the next game. Not only because of Jace, but also because of Slaughter Games. So our Nissa's gonna take a hit next turn, which kinda sucks. I guess she's going to, she's gonna go to two here, right? I wonder if we're going to get a next turn. It was probably greedy not to put a beast within on top of my deck. I guess I can just staff their... I can staff their resto, right? Yeah, look at that. There's still, still follower alerts on there. That's so annoying. So I'm using... Another thing I'm trying out is Streamlabs has their own fork of OBS that I'm trying to use tonight for the first time. So I don't know that I'm a fan of. The tokens have Defender because Magic Online is buggy. For anyone that's surprised by that answer, you know. The plants made by Colony Garden have the word Defender written on them, even though they don't actually have Defender. So I'm gonna staff this Resto, so hopefully we don't die. All right, they got an Eternal Witness here, sure. Your choice, get your Slaughter Games back if you want. Yeah, they can attack. They can, they can in fact attack. Uh, Proteus Staff is again activate only at any time you could do a sorcery. Otherwise, I wouldn't need to activate that aggressively like I did there. Moto is an acronym for Magic Online Digital Objects. Do we have Lethal next turn? Because this overruns already. So we have plus four across. I have to chump block here probably. So this is 12. 16, 21. Plus I have a beast within. We might have lethal next turn. It's kind of sweet. It's kind of sweet. That's annoying. Okay. So Garrick's going away. I need a creature out here. What's going on, Snarfgasm? So you get Tealer Shane and Arbor Elf. Okay. So they just want more mana. I guess they have five cards in their hand. They probably have plenty of things to do. They actually kill Jace this turn, right? No, they have a Birds of Paradise, so I can't. So we're going to draw Garrick, because Primal Command put it on top of my deck. So... Huh. Yeah, Moto does roll off the tongue, 10 out of 10. So I'm gonna play this. I think I'm just gonna untap some lands here. I'm gonna cast this Call the Herd. We're gonna plus my Nyssa. Pass the turn here, hope not to die. They, they could untap and kill us here if they have enough mana. And just like Floop Resto and Kiki into play, or Resto plus Spring Delight. 
Magic online with digital objects. These are all digital objects, chat, on our screens. Am I dead? Yep. Yep, there's a little greedy not to stack the beast with on top of my deck. All right, so I'm gonna pull an Emmer Cool out of my deck and I'm gonna bring in two copies of Terastodon, I think. The Beast Withins feel good. It's a record. First match of the night. First match of the night. Going into game three. What I want to trim here. The Beast Withins are fine. They kill their Jaces. They interact with their combo. These Emrakul is actually good enough. I guess I probably just want like a split on these, right? Just so... Just so they can't take some two slaughter games to get them all out. Nope. A variation of this deck went four and one that we started with, but or five zero that we started with, but we've never five zero with it on stream. We have a four one and a three two in the bank. I just pull that out. I mean, Iona doesn't really prevent their combo. They probably have spot removal. They can jace this back to our hand. Like, this is pretty narrow. I think you only want this when you can fully shut them out. God, I'm so annoyed that these follower notifications keep coming up. Thank you for the follows. I guess I guess they let me say thank you for the follows when they come up, but they're just... <laughs> they're distracting, and I don't have them configured to look nice. Because this widget is poop. All right, um... In fact, I'm going to take these 30 seconds I have here and replace this widget really quick with one that I know works. Uh, All right, so... Alert. Look at that. All right. And then... Perfect. I think I made it do what I want. All right. Let's take the play here. Uh, everything seems fine. Like not super exciting, but fine. We get to go. You go turn. Turn two. Call the herd. Turn three. Garrick Wild Speaker. Maybe maybe aggro them out a little bit. Auto pass key not correct. Pass the rest of the turn. F. There we go. All right. Yeah, hopefully they're not watching the stream. If they're watching the stream, swapping out to Terastodon is going to feel really bad. They'll just name Terastodon or something else. But ooh, that's actually it's actually great, right? I get to do this, and then I get to just Terastodon next turn. The staple, ag the aggro staple, call the herd, right? Sweet. All right, so this is this is the Terastodon plan you're about to see here. So, cool oh God. Well, they're definitely not ghosting, so they wouldn't have done that if they were ghosting. Ho, 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 chat. Ho, 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 chat. Oh, are you excited, chat? I'm excited. Who's ready? Who's ready for this? Boop.
All right, so I'm pretty sure I just want to take away both of their lands, right? I, th I think this is a 2-1 split. Pretty sure it's just a 2-1 split here. So we kill both of their lands and we kill one of our lands. So we get 12 power worth of elephants and they get 6 power worth of elephants. This card's been really sweet out of the sideboard. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, baby. Yeah, thanks for the host, Santa Onyx. Hope you had a good stream. Can we start calling it Elephant Souls, right? There's a reason we put a third, we put a third nasty Terasty in here, right? He's a, he's an angry elephant, or she's, this is like an elephant mama. She like makes little elephants out of their, out of their property. Lingering peanuts. The transformative sideboard into blue green land destruction, right? I mean, Beast Within is technically a stone rain, right? There's there's a world where that's a stone rain. Your permanents are irrelevant. That's that's fantastic. I'm gonna I'm gonna steal that one of the future. This hand is great. It's a polymorph. I'm sure it's gonna like die very quickly now that I said this hand is great, but I like this hand a lot. Oh now, Ponza. Utopia Sprawl is not good against Ponza, believe it or not. <laughs> believe it or not, Utopia Sprawl not good against Ponza. How does this deck work? It makes a token creature, ooh, not Ponza? Interesting. Okay. Color me, color me intrigued. Maybe they're Ponza with Stringleroot Geist? They missed their land drop. Um, it's just tapped land, put this on here, name blue. Have our Jace online. Not, not that we're gonna play our Jace. Next turn, we're gonna play Modern Staple Call the Herd, almost certainly, rather than cast Jace the Mind Sculptor, because everybody knows that Call the Herd is much more powerful than Jace the Mind Sculptor, right? Yeah, the BBE Gen deck is really powerful. 10, 10 out of 10 like that deck a lot. If you're looking to just win in Modern, I think that should be towards the top of your list of decks you're trying. All right, let's cast this, grab an Island. His land is your land. His land is my land. Do, 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 do. So, just in case they're Ponza, I don't really want to put both of these on the same land. So I think I'm gonna play this breeding pool, even though it could be untapped later, and then put the Utopia Sprawl on here. If I was the Jeff Hoagland shout out Anorotics, you are in fact. So do we get to Jace plus flashback call the herd next turn? That's so unreasonably powerful. That's so unreasonably powerful. Uh, I could Jace plus Nissa now. I actually can't Jace plus flashback call the herd, can I? I'm a little, I'm a little short. So I guess, um, this has green, right? So I'm actually going to tap like this and I'll cast. Do I want to unsummon their Arbor Elf? Is that unreasonable? I guess it lets them kill my Jace. Yeah, I'm just going to Jace Storm. Maybe I just want to Fate Seal them. Just like go big with my Jace. Yeah, I'm not really looking for anything in particular just yet. I'm just gonna feed seal them. Tireless tracker on the bottom. Nope, you can keep, can keep that one. Play this Nissa, gum the board. They might still be a Ponza variant. I think I'm gonna hedge and board out my Utopia Sprawls for game two. I'm gonna hedge and board my Utopia Sprawls out for game two. All right, Altered State, you've been here before, so this shouldn't be a surprise to you. Take a time out for just like 
repeatedly telling me that without telling me why. Gotta, gotta be, they're playing Warp World, a tier 12 deck that I've never heard of or seen, almost certainly because, and then fill in the because for me, please. So think about that and let us know when you come back later. Just sitting there repeating the same thing over and over in chat without articulating yourself or helping me understand why you're saying it isn't, isn't useful for anyone. Negate's probably good, regardless of what they're doing, if they're on Ponza. Well, I guess they have a lot of creatures, right? So, like, maybe this is really bad. I don't actually know what I want to do. I guess Beast, Beast Within seems mediocre, too. Am I just, like, running running it back, actually? This is so bad if they're playing Ponza. This is so bad if they're playing Ponza is the only thing. Call the Herd is bad because it has the old border. Yeah, it looks like they were kind of playing a Stompy deck, but Tireless Tracker makes me think they could be Ponza because that's that's kind of become a Ponza staple. So like maybe with Strangle Root Geist, they're just a more aggressive Ponza deck. So I'm not, not actually sure what I want to do. I can beast my own lands if they target. Okay, I'll buy that for a dollar. Right, I'm just going to do this for now. These are really bad if they're on an aggressive deck. We're like up a game here, so we kind of have a freebie for the second one. What does this hand do? It's got an explorer, but it just like doesn't have any lands in it. Call the Herd on three is pretty reasonable if they're an aggressive deck. Is it more financially beneficial for you to watch YouTube videos or the live stream on Twitch? Well, the actual answer is like... Just ad revenue doesn't doesn't make me a ton of money, right? It makes me a, a non 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 zero amount, but just like the actual answer is whatever's more convenient for you is is honestly the answer. The best thing you can do is I think you got that little sub icon next to your name, Drew Bruski. That that little sub icon is worth far more to me than anyone watching even every minute of my videos. That what that sub icon kind of pays me as a split is is much more than that because advertising money from a single person is not a ton. I think I want to mulligan this. It's got the staff plus call the herd, but that's just like a turn five combo, which is really slow. Hey, Aviathin, with that brand new Twitch Prime support, thank you very much and welcome. I do appreciate that. As always, subscriptions are the best way you can show support for my content here. Uh, this hand is kind of mediocre, but I'm going to keep it with a scry. Um... This replaces itself, and I probably don't have anything else to do on two, so let's just put that back on top. On the off chance, like, we hit a land in our next two draws, this ends up putting us ahead. You taught me a lot. Well, I'm glad you've learned a lot. Thanks for, thanks for that next level of support. Welcome this evening. Welcome to everyone hanging out. We've got a little over 300 people already. This bonus Sunday stream was hanging out at home. Yeah, ain't that the truth? All right, that wasn't exactly the land we're looking for, but I guess it's better than bricking. I suppose it's better than bricking. You get stone rained off my forest. Oh, they are just playing an aggressive deck. Okay, interesting. Neat. Neat. All right, so my Utopia Sprawls, like if this was a Utopia Sprawl, this hand would have been nuts, right? If this if this had been a Utopia Sprawl, we'd probably be putting an Emrakul into play this turn. So... Oh, Lordy, are we dead? I think we're dead through putting an Emrakul into play, right? Because we're going to take... Uh... I take 8, 9, 10 here, and yeah, yeah we are just dead. All right, so uh, again, like opponent missing land drops and getting combo killed, like hurt our, our information flow going into that game. So like we really didn't know what they were doing. So I was boarded inappropriately for what their plans were ultimately. Jace seems really bad here. I'm gonna leave the extra beast within, I think. That seems fine. Not sure why you're telling me a warp world did. Think about it and come back later. 
Um, hmm. We really don't have board presence to protect Jace in this deck. Like, Jace is a four mana game three brainstorm is really, really pretty bad. Oh, did I ban them by mistake? I meant to time them out. Sorry, Mr. Muskrat. I meant to just time you out. Had, had a misclick. Um, I think this isn't good enough because this isn't a forest. It's like I can't cast this on anything. This hand has an Ember Cool in the opener, so we're gonna definitely throw that back. Just get another miserable hand with an Ember Cool in it. Alright, I guess we're keeping this. I'm gonna bottom anything that's not a ramp spell here. The Radicone! Still happy to support you after two plus years. I've learned a lot. Well, thanks a lot and welcome back. I appreciate it. It's a long time to put up with me. Appreciate that uh, that continued support over that time frame. All right, the staff's not a terrible draw. If we draw an untapped land in our next two draw steps, we can we can staff the Beauty Vault on four. Unless I get Blood Moon or Stone Rain here, are they playing Ponza? Holy crap, they're playing Ponza. All right. Well, yeah, Modern's a good time. Modern's a good time. I guess they were just playing Ponza this whole time. They just have like Stringle Root Geist and Goblin Rebel Masters in their deck. Rebel Masters seems like a sweet addition to Ponza. The deck's biggest problem is that it like can't close the door. So having having the ability to close close the door very quickly seems good. I mean we have we have a bunch of basic lands in our deck, so we could maybe draw those, but yeah, see like here, like a lot of times this deck just like dirtles around. Is Riverwise Augur a suitable replacement for Jace? Asking the hard-hitting questions. All right, you know, you know. My favorite part was my opponent said, had good luck, have fun, and then cast a Blood Moon. <laughs> they said GLHF going into the third game, and I was just like, ah, uh, man, we're probably about to get modern. Probably about to get modern. Oh no, chat. Do you know what I forgot? I, oh man. I totally forgot to set up my my shill scene. I totally don't have a sponsors page set up right now. God, I'm so bad at this. It's a good thing this is a bonus stream and not one of my regularly scheduled streams, right? I'm trying a red-white semi-prison deck with Kiki Resto combo. What's a good donation amount for you to put in the queue to play? That'd be fine as a regular donation amount. Fun fact, my Kiki Court originally started as a red-white prison deck, and then I felt like I wanted tutors. No, new operating system, same camera. I think the autofocus is more aggressive under Windows. So it's definitely a little bit of moving in and moving out as I bob around. Speaking of moving around, I'm gonna stand up. I am, I am fat and have been sitting most of the day. Oh, let's, uh, let's fix this. I do, I do in fact have a Windows taskbar here. I do have to say, as someone who hasn't used Windows on a personal computer in almost a decade, I was a little disappointed at how little just worked out of the box and how many things I had to tinker with. Because really, I had to tinker with almost as many things as I tinker with on Linux, which is which is like disappointing. This is supposed to be like a consumer consumer rated operating system, right? That being said. Um, things like video games and OBS are more optimized for Windows operating systems. So I am not currently having any CPU overhead issues with OBS like I was having on Linux. So I, what prompted my 
installing Windows was I can't record on Linux in 1440 without my whole system stuttering, which is miserable. So this is... All right, this is my Amber cool. Hopefully my Amber cool is not getting Jace back to my hand. Do I get another turn? Please don't chase me. Please don't chase me. Please don't chase me. I, sure, yep. Nothing untaps. You got it. I will I will in fact untap nothing this turn. No, I just put a I bought a 500 gig SSD and put the 500 gig SSD into my computer and installed Windows onto my second hard drive. I think Death and Taxes is really terrible. If you're talking about Legacy, I think it's really terrible. And if you're talking about Modern, I think it's worse. I, re I really hate that deck in Modern. It's super, super... Mis oh, do they have a Giga Drows? No, this can't be targeted by Giga Drows, right? Enter combat, opponent. Enter combat. Trigger. This can't be targeted by Vapor Snag. The Death and Taxes decks in Modern are pretty pretty anemic in my experience playing with them. No, it's a 2.5 inch SSD. Alright, so Nature's Claim and Beast Within seem fine here. The Negates. Oh, they're a mono blue deck, right? They're a mono blue deck, right? So this is this is certainly what we're supposed to be doing. Opponent's, opponent's deck is mono blue. Mono blue. I think Dead Guy is better than Death and Taxes to set the bar low, but I don't think Death and Dead Guy is a tier one deck. I think it's like a fine tier two deck. It's like a, it's like an acceptable tier two deck. Um, how do you feel about boarding these Garricks out? Just because like my backup plan's not super good in this matchup. Time out for not telling us why Death Attacks is back. Well, okay, I can explain. Well, see, I pay money to be here, kind of, so I don't have to. I don't have to justify myself. But since you asked, I think Death and Taxes is very bad in Modern because on av its average card quality is very bad, which means it falls prey to the other interactive decks, and its disruptive elements aren't aren't powerful enough on average to keep the combo decks down as well. So I think it fails to attack either set of decks that you're really interested in attacking. Um, in Legacy, I think Death and Taxes is really poorly positioned because Death and Taxes strength in Legacy always came from being able to attack fair decks mana bases and all of the best fair decks in Legacy right now are playing Birds of Paradise, Grim Lava Mancer split card, which be makes it much more difficult to attack decks mana when they're all playing Birds of Paradise effectively. So that's why I think those decks are, are awful in both those formats. I think if Death and Taxes in Legacy wasn't as cheap in terms of dollar price to build as it is, it wouldn't be anywhere near as popular as it is. I think a big, big part of Death and Taxes popularity in Legacy has to do with the fact that it's a cheap tier one deck. I don't actually think that's true, Snarfgasm. I've played a lot of Tron and the Death and Taxes deck has to have a very specific draw and generally has to be on the play to be favored against Tron. The Tron deck gets to reassemble its lands and like the Death and Taxes deck, it's putting itself behind land drops to take the Tron deck off of Tron when they get to keep tutoring up Tron pieces again and again and again. I was well over 50% against the... Um, against Death and Taxes variants when I was playing Green Black Tron a lot. So Death and Taxes would be way better in Legacy if Death Rite Shaman got banned. I mean, it would be less bad. I don't know that it would be good, but it would be less bad. 
I think five color humans is one of the better decks in the format still. I think it's very reasonable. I think there's an overabundance of Jund and Jeskai online right now just because people are still playing with their new toys. But I think once people realize how bad a lot of the um, Jace and Bloodbraid Elf decks are, the, the format will settle back down to a place where humans is fine. This seems actually pretty good. If we just hit an untapped land tier, it's not an untapped land. That actually lets us polymorph next turn, though, right? So, yeah, so I'm actually just going to play this out. I was going to play this and play Nyssa, but because we drew this, I can now go Mutavolt, polymorph my plant next turn. Yeah, no one wants to send money to Citron. Like everybody, like, everybody understands how Tron works. It's just like, derp, derp, make my seven mana, derp, derp, play my Karn, kill your land. Like, it's not, it's not very interesting. It's funny to, like, watch me rip like a god because that's what Tron does. It rips like a god consistently. But it's not very interesting gameplay in my experience. Damn, am I getting Giga Drowsed? Just Giga Drowsing my stuff? It's rude. I liked my stuff, opponent. Okay. Remember, the Time Walk deck's not super scary until it has a way to draw extra cards and take extra turns. So opponents are a little bit off. Yep, Exhaustion's pretty good. Gives them another turn to uh, to wait us out here. Oh, I had to I had to test my I had to test a thing. I had to test my alert box Anironics that he uses my name. Like Gideon, Jace, Lily on a tribal for I'd have to see the Mectomaniac, but yeah, probably. We need Giga Drowsed again. That would be really annoying. Okay. Really? That's that's aggressive. Okay. Planeswalker abilities, that's true. Uh, Vintage Tron isn't a thing, because in Vintage you have one land that taps for three mana without doing any extra work. I actually don't want to send a message, because leaving this tap from Exhaustion could be bad. Okay, I mean, like, these Time Warps are just Explorers right now, effectively, right? So, like, they're hoping to, like, hit a Miracle Time Walk, plus be able to set up their... They're drawing an extra card card in a turn. Is getting Giga Drowsed here? Smells like Giga Drows. Sure. So root opponent. Is green my favorite magic color? Fun is my favorite magic color. And green tends to have a lot of the most fun cards in magic most recently. Got another breeding pool here so I can cast this explorer. If it is shot is called chops. Kinda. I mean, Tron in Modern isn't a prison deck. It's a it's a control ramp deck. So, whereas Shops is, Shops is sent on a ton of prison deck, right? Hey, are you two with the $12 donation? Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Sleeve up those Karn Fathers and exile some Jaces, please. Will do. We will get, we'll get some green black Tron in the donation queue. Sure. All of your all of your explorers resolve opponent. Green's basically the everything, the everything color lately, right? Okay, this is this is a big a big turn for them because if they have a dictative crew fix here, this is the kind of get ahead that they need to stay ahead in a game like this. They need to generate an extra turn while also getting a card into play that lets them draw extra cards. So they have a dictate at our end step here, they have a non-zero chance that they could combo off next turn.
Yep, looks like a dictate. All right. Uh, I'm gonna tap this land for the no possible play yield value. So I'm floating this mana for moto value because if you if you don't some points for Tron one two three four five yep yeah, let's get uh, let's get that Tron up there shall we? Where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Can't wait for godlike card and rips. I mean that's that's what Tron is right? It's just like all the godlike Tron rips. Wait, where did it go? There it is. I lost it for a second there. Do you want another Giga Drows? Nope, I'm actually getting to draw here. That's great for me. Um, huh. Hey! Grueling with the 313 subscription. I don't remember. Did you ever play the aggro escape shift on stream? I don't remember considering tossing a meme deck together for a time. We played it on stream a long while back, but it, it's definitely been a little while. So am I supposed to jam this polymorph to start here? Just like almost certainly. Just like get cryptic commanded and cry. Yep. Holy crap. What a tilt. That's probably lethal, huh? All right. Um, hmm. It's a shame we don't have another polymorph. Because if we had another polymorph, we could just put Niona into play. Fortunately, we do not. I guess I could put a Jason to play here that I board in. I have any copies of Nature's Claim on my sideboard, right? I didn't. I didn't board it in because I'm a big dumb stupid. I could play Jason Fate Seal. Yeah, that's probably the line. Jace Fate Seal seems fine here. Like, they're going to get to draw a couple of cards here, but we could at least help one of them be a brick. I like that. Giga Drows. Bottom? Yeah, I think I'm supposed to bottom that, because that's like as good as a time walk, basically, right? Well, they knew, they knew about the Polymorph. If they didn't know about the Polymorph, I agree we should bait, but they knew the Polymorph was there. Because they, they had remanded it previously. So we need a brick in their hand and we need two bricks on top of their deck. Up to three infect here. Uh, part's actually lethal at this point, right? Hmm, Snapcaster Mage is good. Sweet. All right. So need two more, two more bricks out of them. Get some redraws here. I did not watch almost, I didn't really watch any of the Grand Prix, just haven't been into Standard. There's just so much good magic to play outside of Standard that I haven't gotten, I haven't had a chance to get into it. Just so much modern to be playing. That doesn't matter. Why ask me for blocks, Moto, when I don't have any blockers? Squishy, with the 19 month 3 subscription. Thank you very much and welcome back. I appreciate the continued support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Am I officially a Magic player now, right? Oh, they had a turn in the bank still from the Miracle type walk. Right. All right, well, we're almost certainly done for now, right? They bottomed there. Maybe they bricked. Oh, that's a Snapcaster. Look, there are people that enjoy playing eggs. There's people that enjoy playing Lantern. Like, that's one of the great things about Modern, that there's, there's a deck for every person. There's a deck for every person. Opponent uh, was on the play this game, so they're able to kind of get their counter magic in under us, but hopefully we'll be able to flip an Iona into play pretty quickly next game.
They cover up your hand when the yards are not open. Well, the yards should always be open. Let me double check. But yeah, the yards. Oh, when the when the extra things that open. Okay, I'll drag these over a little bit. It's fine. They're actually. It's not so much that they're longer. It's that everything else is is smaller. Hey, we had a donation there as well. Is that almost missed it? Here's some democracy points towards the Carnfather Full Metal Adept. Alright, we're gonna get some Tron real soon. Probably, probably tomorrow. Probably, probably some Tron tomorrow. There have been so many Tron lands in in the top everything. Except Delver. I mean, Death Shadow is basically the same deck as Delver, right? Uh, Tron is at 35 points, which actually puts it at the top of the queue. So, we'll be, we'll be troning some nerds tomorrow. Did you brick? Please tell me you bricked. Rats! Oh, oh, did you brick? Oh, no, they have a turn. Nope, nope, wait. Oh, they exhaustioned us. They didn't, they kind, they did, they bricked, but they didn't, right? All right, we're done here. I should have, I should have noticed, I should have noticed what they were doing. Do I want this nature's claim? I don't think I do. I don't think I do. It's probably better than this beast with it, actually. All right, let's do that. Uh, so on this stream, this stream is run exactly like the American democratic system is run. For enough money, you can make anything happen as soon as you want it to happen. You can just, just grease the wheels, and I will dance in the manner in which you wish to see me dance with whatever cards you want to see me dance with. Um, I don't think so, Anironix. I don't remember if the last time we played it. We played one, I think, without Madcap in the board. I don't think you ever sent me a specific one with Madcap. Uh, this hand's just not good enough, right? Like, it has an Iona in the opener, and it doesn't have any of our Polymorph cards. It's, like, got some ramp in it, but I think the fact that it has Iona and it doesn't have any Polymorph card makes it a mulligan. This hand, this hand is very good. How much for a 24-hour stream? Probably into the four digits at this point. I feel like I stream enough that, like, I personally would rather do two... Hmm. Do I want this land? I guess I can beast within myself to polymorph here at some point. Yeah, that land's probably fine. I'd rather do like two two long streams than I'd rather do like two 12 hour streams than one 24 hour stream because 24 hour streams are just so taxing and like in addition to being taxing on me, they're taxing on Christy too, right? Because she has to she has to effectively take care of the kids for like 36 hours while I do a 24 hour stream. That's so fucking rude. That's so rude. Can't get your house my thing. Yep. Now I wish I would have bottomed this breeding pool. Much for an upside down stream while you stream while doing a handstand the whole time. I am not physically capable of doing a handstand. For I have what we refer to in the society as dad bod, meaning I am fat. Colony heart. That's pretty good. All right, so let's lead on explore. If they remand this, we'll go land, recast it. All right, sweet. How much? <laughs> that feels like a loaded one. I feel like I could get myself into some trouble if I was pretending to be the president. Love the stream. I was wondering if this is a deck you might consider playing. You want to message me off stream for decks I would consider playing as donation decks. So DM me on Twitter or Twitch. I don't look at decks while while I am streaming. How much for an actual dancing monkey on the stream? I mean, uh, John Oliver on his last segment had a bunch of like. Uh, like, these are different Trump impersonators from all over the place, and some of them were real. Like, oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. All right. All right. Remand me, I guess. 
snap back. Holy crap. That that just happened. Okay. Yep. I don't know why they didn't pay mana. Maybe they're expecting a negate here. Are they expecting a negate here? All right. All right. Sure. Yeah. Resolves. Snap back to reality. Oh, it goes gravity. Okay. Okay. You got me. I've been got. Modern staple snap back, right? Ooh, there's a Nagate. Okay. So we can fight over this Jace is what you're telling me. What if I what if I wanted to draw some cards here? Alright, this all sucks, right? It's like really, really sucks. I guess I could upkeep Beast within this. How do I feel about that? I kinda like that. This doesn't draw a card till the draw step, right? Yeah. All right. So let's. Uh, I guess I could jam Nissa as a possible blocker here, but I kind of want to hold up Beast slash Negate here. Although I guess if they take an extra turn, they get to. Yeah, maybe I'm just supposed to play the Colony Garden. I'm just supposed to play the Colony Garden. Do I want to kill this? I feel like I want to kill this. The problem is if I lose my Jace, I'm just going to be spinning my tires for a while. Yeah, I'm just going to pass here. If they run their Snapcaster Mage into my Jace, I'll beast within my own land here, I think. They're attacking me. All right, deal. It's going to be a time walk. All right, stop that. Stop it. Stop it right now, sir or madam. I'll have none of that here. All right, so we're looking for a polymorph here. Well, that's an Iona I can't cast. I guess I get to shuffle with the search for tomorrow, which is nice. Oh, I could animate too. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Definitely could just animate. I'm gonna throw back this and this. Cast the search for tomorrow. Grab a forest. So I have one, two, three, four, five mana. So I could go tapped land, Nissa. I kind of want to want to take this dictate off the table. I think I'm supposed to take their dictate off the table. Maybe fight over it during their upkeep. I think this turn is going to be the fight over it during their upkeep turn. So I'm going to cast this Nissa, make a token. And then during their upkeep, and I know this gives them a chance to counterspell it, but if they want to counterspell it, that way they can't, uh, they can't take an extra turn this turn, most likely, unless they have a miracle as well. So I think I want to do this. And it feels like they have a counterspell of some sort because they played the snap back without, with its alternative casting cost when they could have paid two mana for it. I'm taking the dive into the world of green creature combo decks, and I've been curious about Glittering Wish ever since we played the band control list with it. No, I think um, just the amount you lose by not having a full sideboard just, like, isn't worthwhile. Like, you, you lose a lot by not having a full sideboard. Well, they played snapbacks, they cast Dictate the same turn. Okay, that's, that's interesting to note. That's good to, good to note. Do you have... They do have a time warp, okay. We could just be dead here to beat because I gave them a 3-3. It's possible I should have just like um, Beast on my turn plus Unsummon with Jace, but like if we hit a Polymorph there, they just couldn't win the game anymore, which was appealing. So I'm going to go ahead and block this 3-3 at this point, I think. 
Well, this does give them a chance to kill my Jace if they time walk this turn. They don't have another time walk. Well, that's great for us. All right, well, let's start by... Start with this. Looking for polymorphs and staffs. Sweet, that's a staff. Okay, so... Probably throw this back. Throw this back. Yeah, all right, so they should be done here. Get, uh, flute bar Iona into play. No more blue spells for you, opponent. No more blue spells for you. No, 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 opponent. No more of those, please. We're done. We're done with the blue spells. How many basic forests do we have? A lot. Uh, four or five? I think it's five. Let's take a peekaboo. It is in fact five and then two basic islands. All right, your move, Yugi boy. This is my shield and sheep shall protect me. Here comes the Caracas, right? Looking to get some more creatures into play here. Perfect. Um, I guess I'll keep this nature slave for now. I guess this doesn't actually do anything, so I don't know why I said perfect. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and animate this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and animate this. And I'm gonna start down ticking this Nissa. I own his legendary chat. I own his legendary. Good, good try though. A plus for effort. You're, you're trying your hardest and that's what counts, right? That they teach you in school. Remember also that our blink moth can make our mutavault plus one plus one so our mutavault can eat their beast if they attack with it this turn. What if they have outs here? Like do they? Do they have a way to beat this in their deck currently? I wonder, wonder if they have any outs. Just like, draw, draw one more card. This is the one that broke, broke the camels back here. Um, all right, there we go, slow and steady. Magic on Light figured it out eventually there. Thank you everyone for hanging out here tonight. Welcome. My name is Jeff Hogan. We're hanging out playing some modern magic together. I'm currently two and one in this league with blue green um, polymorph. This deck's been really sweet. It was a donation deck list that someone sent in that five vote a league. And we've been having a lot of fun changing and tuning the details on it. Uh, if you're enjoying this content, uh, please make sure you hit that follow button. It doesn't cost you anything else so that people find my stuff. If you're really enjoying what you see, please consider subscribing on Twitch. My subscribers are the reason I'm able to do what I do as often as I do it. So big shout out to all of y'all out there that do that. You can also watch more of my content on my YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash uh, Jeff Hoagland. There's a literally days worth of modern content and legacy content and stuff like that on there when 100% of what I, what I stream gets archived there. Is this a modern deck we're considering playing at paper events? Yeah, maybe. Maybe I I like this deck. I actually haven't spent my own money to play it yet, but we're getting we're getting close. We haven't played the Esper Polymorph deck yet. Durward streamed something similar last night, I think, and then I was thinking about it. So we're probably gonna play it at some point in the next couple weeks. We'll see. I don't know. It's it's tough to get around to my own ideas because like there's just the queue is so full all the time, right? Mostly just knock things out in the queue one at a time. Uh, yeah, this hand's great, right? Just like. Turn one sprawl, turn two call, turn three polymorph. Modern staple call the herd here. Modern staple call the herd. I like a mirror gallery in this deck. That's streaming big. I like it. Black cleave cliffs go, huh? Uh, spare deck is closing down. Spare deck is no longer going to exist. I think I'd actually rather just Nissa here, right? Because it insulates my Emrakul against uh, potential Liliana in the Veil next turn. 
Which is why this card's really sweet. Yeah, it's smelling, smelling like Jund, right? Smelling like Jund. Scavenging you, sweet. All right, we're just gonna floop an ember. Or you can just go floop an ember cool into play here, champ. Good thing there's a second one in my deck because we just drew that one. All right, let's put Big Mama into play here. We have to dodge land Fatal Push Liliana or land Lightning Bolt Liliana, but I think we're doing, I think we're a favorite to win the game here. But we, they, they definitely have a sequence of plays that prevents, prevents them from, from dying here. And floop the pig. Oh no! Oh no! That's the first one, chat! Oh no! Don't, don't bolt my play. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, chat! Chat! Oh no! Chat! Oh, we worked so hard, chat! Everything we loved was coming together, MillaTK! With the 25 month three subscription. Thank you. Thank you for the resub. Mid, mid our demise. Oh, they didn't even blink. Just never broke stride. Just like that's all you got, huh? That's all you got. Fucking kick your plant. Edict Dreamer corpse. Middle fingers to the sky, blasting us as they go. All right, so what are we doing here? I think I'm casting Explore. Shows green on that right, cause I'm an idiot. All right, I'm gonna make a plant. Gonna shock this in, I think, so I can cast this Call the Herd. I'm gonna play this Colony Garden. Oh, it's not, it's not a good scene, chat. It's not, it's not a good scene. Like, I have to talk about their outs, right? That's what, that's what we're here for. Talk about, like, what they could possibly have that would be good, bad, or otherwise. This does shuffle away my Call the Herd, but, like, I'd much rather this Emrakul be in my deck than be in play, right? God, did the Bloodbraid Elf too. All right, well, here's hoping... Here's hoping that, uh... Here's hoping that we hit a Polymorph for a Staff this turn. I just want to trade here. I just want to trade here. Well, that's... That's really unfortunate for us, chat. We gave it... We gave it the old college best, but we seem... We seem to be losing here. All right, I'm going to spin this backwards and ship this into the Liliana here. Flip the land. Gosh, our opponent is such a Jund professional. Just had the land bolt Liliana. Hits the land with the Dark Confidant. There's just... There's too much professionalism on the other side of the table. I just can't... God, mismatch Bloodbraid Elves? Have some self-respect, opponent. Hmm. Hmm. Can we show things this by asking the asking the important questions? Alright. Sorry, Nissa, your time has come. Gotta eat a fat one here. Do I want to hold this fetch for a Jace Storm? Yeah, probably. That's, I think that's gonna do it. I guess. I guess these Dark Confidants could kill them, right? Like that's that's a thing that could happen. Alright, just gonna play smashy, smashy here. Wouldn't be surprised to see them trade with a plant, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good line. Opponents played this game really well. I'm gonna concede to a piece of removal here. All right, third eleven. Whoa, they forgot to. God, they flipped another land. What a tilt! What a tilt! Aha! Jokes on you, opponent. I've cleverly kept a land in my hand. Ho 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 ho! I suppose they could have nothing, and we could rip another. We could rip a thing, right? Opponents got Verdant Catacombs and then one card in hand, so maybe we just like rip a thing and kill them. That's really unfortunate. Our deck does have a lot of air in it, I suppose, though. So am I dead on the backswing here? It appears to be that way. Block here. Yeah, I have to just leave these back. We're actually just drawing to zero outs at this point. 
we have to jump block twice so we need to hit we need to hit that turn and then have our opponent not have gas as their last card all right so i'm pretty sure that when emmercool can get edicted it becomes a nasty terasty matchup I want these beasts with thins i want this jace i'm pretty sure i just want to cut these utopia sprawls do I want this Polymorph still? Probably. I probably just want all the Terastodons. Probably just want all the Terastodons. Is Negate worth bringing in here? I'll just leave one Sprawl in my deck. That's probably fine. Our deck does play a lot of lands, to be fair. Yeah, Iona on Black is fine. I just... I, I think Terastodon's a little bit better. And I want to know what my polymorph is getting every time I do it in, in matchups. So I don't think I ever want to have two different creatures in my deck. I think I'd rather just err on the side of I know what this card is doing every time I play it. I want to remove remove any element of variance from that, that part of it. Inquisition. So they're probably supposed to take Explore here. Yeah, good line. Opponent's been been jundling pretty well so far here. I'm just gonna fetch a breeding pool with this. Yes, this is a bug. This this can attack. This is a a moto feature colony garden. It says says it has defender Tarma Goofy deal. It's a real shame this wasn't untapped. If this had been, if this had been an untapped land, we'd have been able to polymorph this turn and just get nasty Terasty into play to do its thing. Unfortunately, that's not an option currently. We are two and one, but we're down a game in this match. So, let's see, we have another Charmy Goofy here. The real question is, do they have a Fatal Push or a Thought Seize to follow up their second? Would World Spine Worm be a decent sideboard option over Terastodon? Are we entering that? Hey, Lido1572. Thank you very much for that Twitch Prime support. I do appreciate that. That's kind of a beating. All right, so it's like Jace, Jace v. The World right now. Which, let's be honest, that's how Jace is used to having it be, right? Nobody, nobody loves him. Uh, yep, so we're just going to go ahead and play this Jace as an unsummon here. Um, so, World Spine Worm, to go back to the World Spine Worm question, World Spine Worm is better in matchups like this, but Terastodon has more applications in other matchups like Path to Exile decks and Tron decks. So, very, very good against Tron-style decks is is the nasty terasty all right if we hit a polymorph we can we can flip a terastodon into play here none of those a polymorph but i can go garrick into nissa make a plant right so that's nice so i'm gonna put back this and this so i don't have anything that they can discard in my hand I'm gonna cast garrick I'm gonna plus garrick untap these lands and now they can, if they have a Bloodbraid Elf, potentially kill one of my walkers, but, you know, we're setting, our, setting ourselves up for success the best we can here. We Simic locker, walkers, yep, basically. And that's one of the reasons I really like this deck. Like, it has, like, a busted modern combo. God bless it. I mean, I guess this is happening before we have Proteus staff out, so we've got that going for us, but, like... God, that's a sick rip. I like this deck a lot. I've been having a lot of fun playing this deck. Oh, geez. That, that pushes the Tarma Goofy to a 4 5, so they get to kill two of my walkers here. Ugh, they get to kill Jace plus Dealer's Choice on the other one. Yeah, so Jace is dead. And Garrick's dead. That's fine. Alright. Oh my god, I stacked the fucking Brainstorm wrong. Holy shit, I stacked the Brainstorm wrong. Oh god, I do that all the time while I'm talking on stream too. Well, if I had stacked this Brainstorm correctly, 
this would be going into play this turn. But unfortunately, we lose the game now. So there's a staff on top of my deck that I stacked with the brainstorm wrong. So this I intended to put this back so we could staff into it. And I think I clicked and then unclicked it if I go back and watch the tape. So I'd have been able to plus this, play staff, activate on the staff. And then I'd make us a 3-3 three, three, and probably them two 3-3s three, and take them off of their red mana. And then we could like slowly staff through with Nissa getting more Trastodons into play. I think we're actually going to be in a pretty good spot that game if I would have stacked... That brainstorm correctly. That's really unfortunate. Got pretty unlucky to lose that first game. They had their combination of three cards as their only out to what we had after they won the die roll. And then I had a little bit of a misclick there too. My brain had intended to stack the Terastodon two down, but I definitely clicked on them in the wrong order. So that one's all on me. That one is all on me. You think the price of Jace will drop with M25 at all? I don't do MTG Finance. When I want to make investments, I talk to my I talk, I talk to my investment guy who invests in actual things like stocks and bonds. Seems pretty good. Turn one sprawl, turn two explore, turn three, put an Emrakul into play. MTG's a bad vest, that's why I only invest in Bitcoin, yep. Basically, my word of advice is, you should, the way you should look at, should you buy Jace now or should you wait to see if it comes down? M25, Figure out how much time between now and M25 releasing is, and then ask yourself, will I have, you know, X percent of enjoyment between now and then having Jace's sooner rather than later? If the answer is yes, then you shouldn't care if Jace could possibly come down. It's just the, the TLDR of it. All right, so I can do this. Um... We'll start by casting Explore, I think. Yeah, that's fine. So I'm gonna shock this. I'm gonna put this on here. Put green on this one. Play this Mutaball past the turn. All right, we get to activate our Muta Vault and then turn it into a, uh, a big scary next turn, which is hopefully enough to win the game. Oh no, I misclicked. My Muta Vault activated itself. Oh no. Oh no, it misclicked. JK. Floop. <laughs> Emrakul was the top card. Of course it was. <laughs> of course she was the top card. Gordon Iota did colorless, right? What are we in the tank about here? Do you have do you have a Liliana that you could possibly cast here? You like reading your dispatch, wondering why you can't target my Emrakul? They have a basic swamp in their deck. That this is an interesting piece of information to have given me. This I don't know what this tells me, but it, it tells me something. 
I'm not I'm not sure what it tells me, but it tells me something. Alright, so I've got nature's claim, creeping corrosion beast within here. You can cut this jace. Hey, the worm eight two six with the three month Twitch Prime resubscription. Thanks a lot and welcome back. I do appreciate it. Hey Jeff, this is the Gideon Polymorph list that Caleb was playing last night. Since we're flooping Emeralds into play, I'd love to see you try it with this list. Keep being awesome. Awesome. Thanks for the thanks for the donation, Brecken Sky. I actually want to work on the Esper list too. Is this deck seem sweet? Esper Polymorph Modern Three. Yeah, I think bringing in Chalice for Zero is okay on the play. I don't know. I kind of just want to, like, do my thing on the play. I think I'd rather just, like, be linear on the play. This extra Beast Within is probably a little slow. And then maybe trim a Garrick Wild Speaker because he's a little clunky. Actually, I'm going to trim a Treetop Village because in matches where you're not attacking, polymorphing this is really slow. So I think that's okay. We're on 25 land, so I think trimming one is fine. Let's try, let's try this. If you're interested in what the Esper Polymorph deck looks like, check my Twitter from earlier today. I tweeted a picture of what I was interested in playing. Uh, what does this hand do? It's pretty good as far as linear hands go, right? Like it needs um, it needs a polymorph, obviously, or creeping corrosion, but it it does just get to like put a bunch of mana into play very quickly, right? Why not just gift sunbear? Because so it's all about. Resources. Well, one, you can't give Sun Burial Rights a Emrakul. You can't. You can't give Sun Burial Rights Emrakul, right? Like that's that's not a thing you're allowed to do. Um, and two, it's a resource efficiency thing, right? Like Polymorph is four mana plus a token. Gift Sun Burial Rights is eight mana. Eight mana is literally twice as much as four mana. For those of you out there that aren't quite aren't quite good at math, it's lit literally twice as much mana. Which means that's a, that's a lot of fucking mana. It's a lot of mana. Like four mana is often a lot of mana in modern. Like your four mana cards need to be like Jace the Mind Sculptor to be good. Like paying eight mana to like get oh do they, oh, do they just keep a hand with thought season nothing else? Well that's great for us. All right, let's explore. I actually get to go land, land, explore again here, right? And put the colony garden into play here too, depending on what we draw. All right, now I'm gonna fetch a basic forest instead of shocking. Gotcha. I don't understand. How do you have so many lands in play already, Hogland? It's fine. We played two explorers. Everybody, everybody in chat, calm down. We explored twice, okay? Everybody stop pointing fingers. There's two explorers. Just calm down. Can you believe he's legal to play Magic again? What In what world is it reasonable for him to be legal to play Magic again? Just like, can we just like permanently ban him? If you've been caught red-handed twice, you should be gone for good. You could make an argument if you've been caught red-handed once, you should be gone for good, but twice, you should certainly be fucking gone. Beaumont Courier, that's, that's something. Proteus Staff, well that's, that just lets us loop the pig, right? It's like, boop, 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 boop. I was just gonna make some elephants here, but putting an Emrakul into play seems way better.
I thought to myself that Bert and Sheenie could do it. <laughs> oh. I feel like we need like a Pokemon Evolve animation when we when we do the polymorph thing on the stream. It's like -doo 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 -doo. Oh, are we gonna keep playing magic? This is adorable. Are we are we done here yet? Are we are we done here? You have one, two, three, four, you have seven permanents. Here's, here's the actual piece of advice if you ever play against Alex. If his sleeves have any amount of grime on them, call a judge and ask to get him deck checked. Because that, that's what he was known for, was marked cards through dirty sleeves. And I know for a fact he continued doing that last time he came back. I haven't played, I haven't played much Paper Magic since he's been back this time. Ooh, ooh, you're going to give me a challenge here, opponent? Yeah. All right. What are, what are the odds they concede to the call of the herds? What are what are the odds? What what are the odds they're going to concede to the call? Because they're not conceding to this trigger for some reason. I am confused, but they're, this isn't. They haven't conceded to the Emerald cool. It's, maybe they're hoping I click through it. I guess maybe that's their out. Is that I, I get motoed? You've got a you've got a three power Memnite opponent. What if, what if I told you I have Call the Herd? Ho ho, ho ho. So we have a 100% league cash rate with the blue green polymorph deck so far. We've got a 4 1 and a bunch of 3 and a couple of 3 2s now. I'm really liking where this deck is heading. I'm really liking where this deck is headed. For the low, low cost of a $2.50 donation. I will open a chest on stream. But otherwise, that chest turns into $2.50 in actual money. I know lots of other streamers like hate money and like regularly set money on fire on stream for entertainment purposes. I'm just not into that life. I'm just not into that life. There's a reason why in the subs discord, the modern channel is titled where every deck's a 3-2 deck. Where every deck's a 3-2 deck. Ah, uh, do we want to play more magic today? I might, I might actually kick off early. Looks like there's a bunch of other people still streaming. Yeah, Stevens is still going. And it looks like McLaren just signed on and Caleb D's going. So I'm going to end early tonight and get some of my adulting for the week done. Um, and we'll add some extra stream time uh, to some of my some of my nights later this week when there are when there are less other excellent people streaming as well. So there's there's a bunch of people on tonight. So I like to try and fill in fill in extra slots when we don't have other people going on. So we'll add we'll add some mornings or some other some other extra times in my afternoons in there this week. Thank you everyone for the support. As always, I appreciate the subs and resubs. And I need to get my sponsors page plugged back in here on OBS on the Windows side. So thanks a lot. Peace, folks. Mm-hmm.